electronic side negative. Ruzinski sign, single positive. Patient Joe Luria, distal and proximal R contractures. Duration four seconds. Staph infection most commonly presents on the skin. Most commonly? You want to treat me like any other patient, do it. But the house I know never uses phrases like most commonly. You're not laughing anymore. No. Think that's a good thing? Sort of doubt it. Staph would be in your heart, lungs, spleen, liver, or kidneys before it gets to your brain. Your organs are clear. It's not staph. The infection could be limited to a brain abscess. Which I would have seen in your MRI. Sign this so that I can take out a piece of your brain. Let me see the MRI. There was no abscess on the image. Let me see it then. I liked you better when you were jolly. MRI was taken over an hour ago. That soft spot can now be an abscess. If it was staph, you'd have a fever, which you don't. 101.6. What idiot gave you that? Put the Amaya Reservoir in my skull and treat me for the staph. Triangle. This one? Circle. Next. Foreman, why aren't you answering? Is there a problem? Square, tell me your date of birth. Is that house? Yeah. Next. Square, why is he here? Because my neurologist is having surgery. I thought it was just another patient. You didn't believe that crap, did you? Date of birth. The Omaya Reservoir is inserted in the parietal lobe. My spatial recognition is the issue, not my memory. Oops. Did you say Omaya? I could have sworn you said biopsy. Hey, I'm just messing with your head. Mother's maiden name, please. Get out of my temple, little house. Hello? Are you awake? They told me somebody was sick like me. I'm up. It hurts so much, <laughs> doesn't it? I'm okay. It's gonna hurt. <laughs> the morphine barely takes the edge off. <laughs> I'm gonna die, aren't I? You die, I die. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> Why not? Are you just too stubborn to die? They took a piece of my brain. Whatever's wrong with us, though, they'll find. Do you believe in prayer? <laughs> Not really. Neither do I. Do you want to try it? Try praying. Okay. No. No. Perhaps he showed nothing. How can it be nothing? You cut out a piece of my brain. It's nothing personal. We just didn't find anything. Can you up his morphine, for God's sake? He's already maxed out 20 milligrams per hour. What about toxins? Everything was negative. There was a cupboard above the stove. Did you see it? I, I didn't check all the food, but it could be listeriosis. I didn't go back. All right? Who did? I said we shouldn't go. Too dangerous. The answer's got to be in that apartment. Not going is too dangerous. I'm sorry. You're thankful. If I would have pointed at you instead of me, you'd be the one in here. 
Look straight forward. Tell me when you can see the it's light. It's your job to go back. You're a doctor. You go where the disease is. Say when you can see the light. I'm dying, and you're sitting here measuring how fast I go? Tell me when you can see the light. My vision's fine. Your left side periphery's reduced. It's fine. I'll prove it. Ow! Son of a bitch! Now we're both exposed. You got two choices. You can go tell the house what just happened and get your own cardboard in here, or you can go back to that apartment. You save me, the cop, and yourself. What are you doing? Foreman! Imagine being constantly reminded of the pain you're about to be in. I can't take it. No, it's happening. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. My mind morphing into his karate could stop his heart. So the pain-induced stress cardiomyopathy, either the morphine kills him or the pain dies. Is he doing this? I'm certainly not going in there to stop him. It'll make you feel better. <laughs> He's in pain because of the location. Painkillers do nothing. Suit up. Get the guy to calm him before the pain kills him. Why doesn't anyone listen to me anymore? I decided you were wrong. Guys, you're weak. Guy steals your article, tells you you're not his friend. You still want to risk your life for him. <sighs> Foreman broke my skin with a tainted needle. Wow. Yeah. God, you're weak. Guy tried to kill you. First thing on my list of things to do would be to stab him back. Shoot him. I've got a gun at my desk. Last thing on my list would be to lie to my boss about it and give the bastard everything he wanted. I'm not here for Foreman. I'm here to save myself. Mm. Even with a needle stick, your chances of infection are pretty slim. That's why you're wearing the suit. You wanted to be here. He just gave you the excuse. What does that guy have to do to make you hate him? Test for staff. Was that mouse droppings? Hamster droppings could carry Toxicara, explain the blindness. Now that I recognize as oven crud. Could be meat with trichinella, would explain the high fever. What's with rye bread? Mole could be responsible for ergot poisoning, which could explain the contractures. Three loaves. So? You're going back in there. The guy who lives on takeout pizza does not buy three loaves of rye. He's looking too far into the future. Unless he cares about something a lot more than his diet. Do you want a roof yet? Yeah, I'm here. I don't see any birds. Whistle or something. Do that come hither thing. Feeding them. Now look down. You see a river of pigeon turd? Uh, no. There's barely any. It's not weird. It's cheap. Joe's a guy who looks for the easy way. 
probably been stealing cable from his neighbors. Why not steal fertilizer from rats with wings? You see a shovel or a dustpan? Found a scraper. Looks used. It's like in a bucket. A bucket full of pigeon crap. Perfect home for Cryptococcus neoformans. Yep. Fungus enters the brain through the spinoidal sinus where it dances its triple threat of happiness, blindness, and intractable pain. Well, let's hope this experience teaches our cop a lesson. Don't cut corners when you're growing your pot. We'll see you back home.